mastectomy remains the, the most common form of therapy for prostate cancer. With the advantage of doing it uh, robotic, it's more of an improvement in just getting better quicker. Uh, in general, doing a prostatectomy via a minimally invasive, pro minimally invasive approach um, offers the benefit of less blood loss, uh, which is big, and uh, a quicker patient recovery um, are two of the major things that are, are really a benefit. Yeah, a patient is usually in the hospital after a minimally invasive prostatectomy for um, one or two nights, maybe three nights, depending on, on their clinical course, as opposed to doing it through um, uh, bigger incisions where, you know, it could easily be four or five nights. Um, they can do more strenuous activity quicker. There's less chance of hernias and, um, you know, wound problems and things like that. Um, and so overall, it's just a quicker recovery um, over the uh, standard incision approach. Where an incision is made from ab about the umbilicus down to the pubic bone. Um, and then the incision is, uh, the, the muscles are spread and the prostate and the bladder are exposed. Um, and so you end up with an incision about the length of your hand. Whereas with mentally invasive prostatectomy, um, depending on how it's done, either laparoscopically or robotically, uh, you end up with four or five pinhole or keyhole incisions um, and then one small incision to extract the prostate. And that's usually at the, at the umbilicus. So overall the size of the incision is much, much less. So the advantage of doing it uh, robotic is it's, it's much more comfortable and natural for the surgeon. And the reason why is because um, the surgeon is able to ma manipulate the robotic arms inside the human body in much the same way that he would move his own hands. And in fact, it's exactly the way you would move your own hands. And so it's a very intuitive um, procedure in terms of, of uh, the motion of your hands and the motion of the instruments. And it allows you to accomplish a lot more with a lot less strain. Um, so that's, that's the real advantage to the surgeon of, of, the, of robotic surgery. It allows us to do more um, precise and complicated movements much easier. The robot only does exactly what we do with our hands. It, it's a, it, it mimics every movement um, up to the smallest detail. So we set it a console just a few feet away from the, the surgical bed um, and our, uh, our head is in a view box and um, we see in 3D in the view box. And so that's another advantage of doing it robotically is you have uh, excellent vision um, even compared to laparoscopic, which has good vision with magnification. With the robot, you have magnification and 3D, so you have depth perception. So anytime you remove uh, the prostate gland, whatever approach it may be, um, there are several side effects or risks that can happen. Um, they're very well known. One is erectile dysfunction. Um, the other is incontinence. Um, and then there, are, there can also be just general complications such as bleeding or infection. Um, what we found with the uh, robotic approach or laparoscopic approach is that uh, the risk of bleeding obviously is much, much less. Um, but overall, the other complications such as erectile dysfunction and incontinence are essentially the same, if not a little bit better than doing it by a, via open approach. Um, and so that, that's one thing that we, are always, we always focus on is to make sure that what, what we're doing is at least equal and hopefully better, in most cases it is better, than the open approach. Um, and then in terms of cancer cure rates, um, the use of the robot or laparoscopic surgery um, has been shown to at least be equal once again in terms of cure rates and in most, time, most, uh, ch in most situations better. Um, in many studies better than the open approach in terms of uh, cure of cancer. It's already a very common approach um, for good reason and um, I think in the future it will just continue to be refined. Um, we're also starting to move towards doing these really minimally invasive uh, prostatectomies where um, you may not even hardly be able to see a scar at all after we're done and we would just go through one small incision at the umbilicus and so that, that's something that, um, that, we're, that we're working on and I think in the future will also be a possibility.